long story short, uh, joined the army, got it, got physically injured, um, my back went, and as my back got worse, my mental injuries sort of sort of showed like I realized that I had mental sort of mental injuries and mental mental health issues. And they got progressively worse as my physical injuries got worse. And they, I think they sort of, they self-perpetuated and they fed off each other. So as my physical injury got worse, my mental state would get worse. But then when my physical injury gets better, my mental state's still bad. So I'm just, my mind's telling my body that I can't do anything and, you know, couch potato type, type thing. Can't run, can't walk, can't sit for too long, can't lie down for too long, can't stand for too long. You know, just, you, you sort of start feeding yourself this stuff and it, you just get caught up in it. And um, I got involved with uh, with racing just sort of by by chance, really. I I went to a, to like a tryout day last year in June at Thruxton Race Circuit, and had a blast. It was just like a day in cars, racing around a track, doing car control, doing skid pan, doing karting. Just you know, I thought, awesome, blast, good fun. Left there for. Not forgot about it, thought, yeah, you know, nice day, but didn't think anything of it, didn't think anything was going to come of it. Got a, f a phone call a few weeks later saying, oh, you know, you've been selected to sort of race for, for Invictus Games. And I thought, no, oh, you know, well, it's, it's just, it's, it's mental. And I realized something that, it, I, it's really weird, I didn't even know that I had this problem, that I'd set myself these limitations and I'd limited myself to what I could do but these limitations didn't exist anywhere. They were just in my head. It was my, my head telling me, you can't do that, or you probably shouldn't do that. It's, it's nonsense. You set your mind to something, you do it, and you just go for it, and it works, great. Doesn't work, try someone else. You know, life goes on. Um, I've had a blast. This is, you know, if, if this stopped tomorrow, it'll be with me for the rest of my life. I haven't even raced yet. No, I haven't, you know, I've, I've, I've been out in the car, I've done some testing, but just the mental shift and how important that has been to where I am now and what I'm doing with my life and where I'm headed. I've realized that actually filling my time and filling my life has done so much good for me mentally and just realizing, hey, are you setting the boundaries here? It's just me and it's a load of crap. It don't exist, man. So that's my story. Obviously, we've been to a lot of places that, uh, um, that, that the military do, uh, and that caused me some problems, a lot of the, the, the things that I saw, um, and, uh, and in a similar way to Basil, not exactly the same, but you know, mental health is unique to e each one of us, uh, and we respond differently in, in to you know, uh, things in, in different ways. To suddenly be faced with a thing in my head which was was causing me so many problems was something that I found really hard to accept and um, uh, sort of register in my own mind for me to admit to myself that there was something wrong with my mental health was really really difficult there are a lot of uh, sort of pressures out there on society you know we all if uh, famous people uh, have an, an illness or, or or whatever it could be if it's a physical illness then it's you know it's in the papers. Everyone talks about it. Everyone feels sorry for them, and everyone helps, and that's fine. But as soon as you start talking about mental health things, everyone sorts of you know sh sort of shushes it out, out the way sometimes, and it becomes really hard to you know admit to yourself uh, because they're the sort of society pressures. Um, and uh, you know, with, with you guys growing up, and myself with a daughter who's slightly younger than you guys, uh, there are a lot of society pressures out there, uh, and I. I succumb to those myself um, in a similar way to what Basil said about you set your own, you know, you, your mind can almost can control what you can and can't do. You tell yourself, yourself you can't do something, so, oh, you don't do it, you don't, oh, I won't do that, I don't, I don't dare do that, I haven't got the confidence to do that. These are all things that you tell yourself and they, they limit you. Um, and again, picking up what Basil said because it was it was so important. Is uh, you can um, you can try to achieve something. I, I tried to get involved with this, and and I was successful, and that's great. But if I'd have gone to Thruxton for that day and I'd not got any further, I've got I've still got something out of it. So for me to sort of push the boat out with where I was at the time and 
um, it felt like I was risking myself to uh, um, even apply for this because if I don't get it, I'm going to feel really bad. I'm getting all these sorts of things that actually stop you from applying in the first place. How do you know if you don't apply in the first, in, you know, in that first instance? Um, and in, in this case, I've got other things which you know haven't haven't worked out, um, and you have to keep speaking positively to yourself. You have to keep that mindset there. And you can have exactly the same problem going on in your life, but you can look at it from, from two different ways. Time is going to carry on regardless. Um, but you can either look forward in the direction you're going or you can look backwards. Either way, you're still going. Time is still taking you that way. Uh, exactly the same journey, but your mindset when you're on that journey can make it so much more enjoyable and you can see uh, you can have a much more positive experience than you would otherwise kicking and screaming trying to drag yourself back into the past and how things were where it's comfortable sort of and never think that you don't inspire people because just because of your your attitude is that's where the inspiration comes from for a lot of other people so you you have the power to inspire others just just as much as I was in shiny suits and stuff like that so uh, yeah so well done really good.